Ted Williams once said, the baseball is the only endeavor in life in which you can fail seven times out of ten and still be considered successful. Now, hitting in baseball or swinging in baseball is a complex thing, but with the five steps that I'm about to provide you, it should simplify things and help you succeed both on and off the field. Now, the first step that we're going to follow by is getting yourself in a good proper stance. A good proper stance should start by having your feet either shoulder width apart or just a little outside the shoulders, whichever is more comfortable to you. <clears throat> the second part is get in a little bend in your knees. Get in a good athletic position, that way you can create the most power out of your swing. If you don't bend your knees, you're not going to get nearly as much power or nearly as much torque out, out of your leg, which there is not going to help you. So, with our, shoulder, or our feet shoulder width apart, our knees bent, the last part to a good stance is we're just going to rest the bat on our shoulder. From there, if you want to get it up here, or just right here, that's up to you, whatever is comfortable. But what we're going to do now is just keep it on our shoulder. <clears throat> the second part, or the second step in my five-step process, is once we're in our stance, from there, what we're going to do is you're going to take your front foot, and you're going to pick it up and move it forward. Now, when you do that, what I want you to do is we're going to move the weight and the uh, power to the back leg. Okay? Now, if you have a wide stance, if you start wide, all you have to do instead of picking it up and spreading your legs out farther, all I want you to do is pick it up and just put it down. You'll still transfer the weight to the back leg, but that way you're not or widening yourself out, getting yourself out here, and taking all the power out of the back leg. So now that we have our step down, the next part in the five-step process is our pivot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to pivot both feet, okay? simultaneously at the same time. But what you can't do when pivoting your feet is moving your hips. Just right now. I just want to break it down step by step. So when we pivot, my hips shouldn't move. Okay? So we're in our good stance. Feet shoulder width apart, a little bend in the knees. We're going to step and then pivot. The feet should pivot forward towards the pitcher, towards the ball. Not backwards. We're going to step, pivot forward. Now, when we do that, the next step in our process is going to be step, pivot, the next part is going to be the hips. We should get a lot of torque from the hips, because that's where all the power is going to come from. It's from our legs, it's from our feet, it's going to work up, and then when we step to pivot our hips, that's when we transfer the power from the back leg, we're going to push it forward, okay, and all of your muscle, all of your strength is going to go into the ball. So after that, we'll go step pivot, hips, and then once we get past the hips, the last and final part to a good swing, or towards hitting the ball as hard as you can, is leading with your hands and finally swinging the back. Now a lot of people have issues with swinging the back. A lot of people swing the back like a pendulum, so they just swing it out here like this, okay? Or what they do is they, when they're swinging through, they roll their hands over like this. So see what I mean here? If you're coming through here and you're just rolling your hands over, that takes all the power that we generated through the step, pivot, and hips and just loses it all. So what we want to do is we want to step, pivot, hips, and then what we want to do here is we're taking the back from the shoulder and we're leading with our hands. We're just pushing it out, okay? Hands to the ball. As my dad always taught me growing up, is we should be able to hit Technically, we should be able to hit the ball with the knob of the bat, okay? We're leading it through the zone, and when we lead it through the zone, we're going to bring the barrel of the bat with us and just drive right through, okay? It's a simple five-step process. Hitting is a difficult thing. There's a lot of steps that go into it, but if you can simplify it down into the good stance, the shoulder width apart, we're going to step, pivot the feet, the hips, the hips are what's going to create all that torque, all that power. And then last, we're going to raise the bat. We're going to lead with the hands. Remember to lead with the hands. Don't roll your wrist over or swing the bat like a pendulum. You're just cheating yourself if you do that. So we'll go over the five steps one more time. It's a good stance. The bend in your knees, feet shoulder width apart. We'll step, we'll pivot, we'll hips, and then drive through, and we'll swing. All right, that's swing, but we don't have quite enough room here. So, as Ted Williams said, baseball is the only endeavor in life in which you can fail seven times out of ten and still be considered successful. It's going to be a process. It'll be frustrating, but continue to work, work, and work.